Hi Pioneers! Today I want to talk about the Pi Wallet. The Pi Wallet will be an important milestone to enter Pi's third phase, also known as the Mainnet. According to our recent announcement, rather than delaying the launch of Mainnet until the entirety of Pi's utility and the entire app's ecosystem is built, we decided to independently launch Mainnet as soon as possible and concurrently work on Pi's utility and ecosystem without having one blocking the other. Now, going to Mainnet has a few requirements. And here are four important ones, but there may be more. One, producing a robust testnet since its nodes will transition to Mainnet. The core team is working on this along with the node candidates. Two, iterating and improving the blockchain algorithm. The core team is working on that. Three, creating the Pi crypto wallet for pioneers to receive their mainnet Pi. We are also working on this, and today we'd like to ask you for some feedback relating to its design. Four, KYC. KYC is needed for regulatory reasons, but it's also going to help remove any fake accounts that our algorithms may miss. This will be the topic of an upcoming announcement and just to give you a quick preview, the goal is to not leave any real pioneers behind. So let's talk about the Pi Wallet now and our question for the day. A Pi Wallet is a crypto wallet. So let me tell you a little bit more about crypto wallets. A crypto wallet is a piece of software that allows people to access their assets and be able to make transfers to other people. The Pi Core team will help pioneers create their Pi blockchain credentials so that you can transfer your Pi into Mainnet, meaning set up your Pi wallets. So today we have an important question for you in terms of the type of wallet you'd like to have to receive your Mainnet Pi. As Pi is an open blockchain, you don't always have to use our wallet, but we need to create one for you to transfer, at least initially, to that wallet the Pi you have been mining. We plan to launch the Pi wallet early next year so that you can set it up ahead of mainnet and make sure it works and it is as you expect. The nodes, along with many other pioneers, will also be able to test this wallet against the testnet ahead of time. But let me try to explain the question we have for you in simple terms first so that everyone can follow. There are generally, not just crypto wallets, but generally two types of wallets. The ones where you hold your assets yourself, which are called non-custodial, and the ones where you entrust your assets to someone else. They are called custodial. Let's understand these two in an everyday example. The wallet you have in your pocket is a non-custodial wallet because you yourself hold physical monetary deals and you have absolute custody of them. The wallet in your pocket though, even that one, contains a custodial, a reference to a custodial wallet which may look like this. A custodial wallet is a bank account because you've given the bank custody of your funds and you're entrusting them to maintain them for you. Now, that's why banks try to be very secure and avoid uh, uh, their servers getting hacked because you could potentially lose funds if someone hacks their servers. Or if a bank closes down, you could also potentially lose funds. Another example is of a custodial wallet is when you put your money into a cryptocurrency exchange and the way that it works is that uh, at least for centralized ones you give them custody of your funds and then they help you make transactions inside them. now if the exchange gets hacked you may lose assets which is something that has happened in the past traditionally people keep large amounts of money in custodial wallets, for example, bank accounts, and smaller amounts of money in non-custodial wallets, for example, in their pocket or under the mattresses or wherever they like to put them. 
that because there was until the cryptocurrencies came along no other option so it was hard for someone to maintain a large amount of money in a in a non-custodial way because they would have to hide chunks of bills in their homes now with cryptocurrencies it's the first time in the history of humanity where a single individual can hold a large amount of money by themselves without giving custody of their funds to any intermediaries. And here's how it works. A crypto wallet is essentially constructed using a secret password that is called private key. This private key is necessary to make any transfers out of the wallet. Therefore, if a user keeps their private key to themselves, no one else can touch their assets. This has one drawback though. If the user forgets their private key, there is no way for them to access their assets anymore. There is no bank customer support line that they can call to ask for a password reset, or there's no branch to go and visit with two forms of ID and prove that uh, uh, they, can, uh, they should have access to those assets. So the question we have for you right now is what kind of wallet do you want the core team to build for receiving your pie when we go to mainnet. Your feedback will help us design a wallet that fits the needs of most pioneers. And in any case, keep in mind that one of the core design goals of the Pi wallet and in general, the Pi core team is to make the software we make as accessible and as easy to use regardless. We want your independent opinion on this, but uh, as the core team, we actually prefer pioneers to have the non-custodial option where you have 100% control of your assets. Having said this, we understand that some people may find this option complex or they may be afraid of losing their private key. So we'd like to hear your opinion about what to do. In any case, we will try to make the wallet interface as intuitive and as simple as possible for people to understand and use it. So tap on the survey link on the home screen of Pi app today to let us know what you think. Bye.